In this video, I'm diving deep into how Tropico 6 performs on the Steam Deck. For those who might not be familiar, Tropico 6 is a city building and management simulation game that puts you in the role of El Presidente. From managing economies to building sprawling cities across lush tropical islands, the game is all about strategic decision making, political maneuvering and of course keeping your citizens, or at least enough of them, happy. The Steam Deck is the perfect portable platform to take your dictatorship on the go, but how well does it handle Tropico 6? I've put it to the test and taken a closer look at the graphics settings, performance and overall experience. I tested Tropico 6 across a range of settings to see how it performs under different levels of visual fidelity. First up, the very low settings. At this preset, the game prioritizes performance over visuals. The textures and shadows are simplified, and while the game doesn't look as detailed, the performance is solid. I was able to get frame rates in the range of 35 to 50 FPS. This makes it a great choice if you're playing on a large, fully developed island in the late game where performance can take a hit. Next, I tried the low settings. This strikes a better balance between visuals and performance. Buildings and terrain start to look a bit sharper, and the overall aesthetic feels more polished. Frame rates here average between 30 and 35 FPS, which is still playable, though slightly less consistent in busy areas. Moving on to the medium settings, this is where the visuals start to shine more noticeably. The game looks vibrant and detailed, with shadows, lighting and textures stepping up significantly. Performance, however, hovered around 30 to 40 FPS. It's a smooth experience for the most part though frame drops might occur in especially dense areas. On high settings, the game's visual fidelity is impressive, with detailed environments and realistic lighting effects. However, this comes at the cost of performance, which dropped to an average of 25 to 30 frames per second. While still playable, it's less ideal for later stages of the game, when your island becomes crowded with buildings, vehicles and citizens. Finally, I tested the ultra settings, which deliver the best possible visuals. Tropico's tropical landscapes truly come alive with lush vegetation, crystal clear waters and intricate details in buildings and animations. However, performance here dropped further, averaging around 20 to 25 FPS, particularly on highly populated islands. This preset is perfect for the early game when your island is smaller and less developed, but it may struggle to keep up as your city grows. Here's the strategy I'd recommend based on my testing. Start your game on ultra settings. Early in the game, when your island is still small, the performance hit isn't that big and the stunning visuals make the experience that much more immersive. However, as your island expands and you begin managing a bustling city with hundreds of buildings, vehicles and citizens, I'd recommend switching to medium settings. At this preset, you'll still enjoy good visuals while maintaining a more consistent frame rate of 30 to 40 FPS. By using this approach, you can strike the perfect balance between enjoying Tropico's beautiful environments and keeping gameplay smooth even during late game scenarios. Now let's talk about battery life, playing Tropico 6 on the Steam Deck with medium settings. I was able to get around two hours of playtime on a full charge. While this isn't the longest battery life, it's a reasonable trade-off for the quality of the experience and the depth of gameplay. If you're looking to extend your session, you can always drop to very low settings that cap the frame rate, which improves efficiency slightly. One of the highlights of playing Tropico 6 on the Steam Deck is its native controller support. The game's UI and mechanics translate seamlessly to the Steam Deck's controls, making it easy to navigate menus, place buildings, and manage your island's economy. Whether I was laying down roads, issuing decrees, or spying on my citizens to ensure they're loyal, the controls felt intuitive and responsive. Tropico 6 on the Steam Deck is an absolute joy to play. The combination of strategic gameplay, tropical environments and political humour makes it a perfect fit for handheld gaming. While the performance varies depending on the settings and the size of your city, the ability to adjust graphics on the fly means you can tailor the experience to suit your playstyle. If you're a fan of city building games or just want to live out your dreams of being a benevolent or not so benevolent leader, Tropico 6 is a must play on this portable powerhouse. It gets my full recommendation. Have you already tried Tropico 6 on the Steam Deck? What's your experience like and which settings worked best for you? Let me know in the comments below. 
If you found this video helpful, don't forget to hit the like button and subscribe to the channel for more Steam Deck performance reviews. Thanks for watching and goodbye.